in regard to the legal interpretation of Article 12.5, the Tribunal addressed six substantive issues. Whether an assignment of a debt for accrued interest falls within Article 12.5. The meaning of the phrase main purpose or one of the main purposes. Whether SICL could be a person referred to in Article 12.5. The meaning of the phrase take advantage. The subject matter of the purpose which is required for Article 12.5. And does the person need to have a main purpose of itself taking advantage of Article 12.1? I'll go through each of these in turn.